Yeah, no. Excuse me, that's a great question. Is there a way to have a great good happening without the test? And the answer is yes. In a teaching about the vote of Noah, the Holy Bhagavad Gita teaches us that the same word used for vote is the same word used for the word word. The Hebrew word teva means both. The Hebrew word teva also means the word word, W O R D. So Baba Shabbat teaches and expounds on this and says, God is telling Noah, go inside the boat, go into the word of prayer, go into the word of Torah. The treacherous, raging waters of the flood that destroy the whole world, even destroy the first around 10 inches of the planet completely annihilated with boiling water coming up from the, from the underground wells and from torrents of rain, 40 days and 40 nights. This represents the worries of making a livelihood. This represents the worries of Parnassa and worries in general. This tor torrents and boiling water shooting from below and just destructive. And annihilated the first ten, you know, everything on, on the earth, the people, the animals, the plants, even minerals, even the first top inches of top soil of the whole world. This represents the worries, worrying thoughts. Oh, what about this? What about that? What's going to happen with this? And what's going to happen with that? Go into the boat. That's what God says to Noah. Go into the boat. That's what the Bible says. Welcome into the boat, says the Obama Shrevi. There is a way to rise above all that treacherous, destructive waters, thoughts, racing thoughts. No worries in the head between the ears. Here's how you do it. Go into the word of prayer. Go into the word of Torah. Now, this is the way to rise above the suffering. All God wants from us is a relationship with us. That's one of the reasons why, according to the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov and Rabbi Shneur Zaman God creates the world every moment, again and again and again. He could have just created the world in a way that he created it 5,776 years ago, and it's created. Why did God choose to create it every day, every moment, again, again, and again? Like we say every day in the prayer, He renews every day the work of the universe. Why every day again? Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, author of the Zohar, in a fascinating medrash, explains a concept like this. A king gave his son, his prince, big lump sum of money and that's to last him for a year guess what guess when is the next time the prince showed up and said hi dad your majesty it was a year later when he ran out of money well his kind benevolent father loving king gave his son the amount of money for one day he said dad what about my big budget for the year he says dad he says, son my dear prince i love you i'll see you tomorrow Ask me for more and I'll give you more. Likewise, every day God renews the world. And He wants us to come back to Him because God wants, craves a relationship with us. God is vulnerable, infinitely vulnerable. He wants us to have a relationship with Him. So, here's the thing there's no need for suffering, my friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Just have that relationship with Hashem, have that trusting, loving relationship with Hashem. Like King David writes, Cast your burden upon God and He will sustain you. And he will support you. And he will provide for you. So just get there in the first place and the suffering won't be necessary. Because you've proven that you have that relationship with God, which is what God wanted in the first place. So have a great day. Great day of Bitachon and Simpai Nashan. Be happy. Amen.